On the 31st of January, 2024, during a midweek service at Divine Kingdom Baptist Ministries, the servant of God, Dr. Ian Lovu, gave a prophetic warning about picketing in an East African country. The following are his words. In our prayers, let us remember East Africa. I saw somewhere in East Africa people picketing in many places. It started off in one place and then it was spreading to many places. So I was trying to ask the Spirit of God, God, what has triggered this? The Holy Spirit was telling me there are trampons that are simmering underneath. Just pray for the leadership to remain united so that uh, collectively they can forge the way forward without picaring because uh, the, there is a place, let me call it a place, hallelujah, which really needs our prayers in East Africa. In a, another vision, I was running away from the police as if I'm among those who are picketing or demonstrating. So let us pray for peace and for God to give leaders of that place wisdom to, to steer the country out of trampons. And for intercessors, we are just about to get into February. The Holy Spirit says, you know what I'm talking about. You need to fast and pray for your place. <laughs> for two months, February and March, pray for your place. Because just one, you know a matchstick, when you light a matchstick, it can cause fire all over the place. So the situation, there is too much tension in that place. Say, in that place. Yes, in that place in East Africa. So just tension in that place, if it is mishandled, it will spread into this picketing that I saw all over the place. I don't like to speak messages like this, but God has made me a watchman. When I see things in the vision, which I cannot deal with alone as an intercessor, or with a few intercessors sharing through WhatsApp, I announce the message publicly on, on YouTube. You realize I was silent about prophecies all along because I was praying and hoping some of the things that I'm seeing, the God will change them. So other intercessors and they will change. Again, on the 28th of April, 2024, the servant of God, Dr. Ian Lovu, gave yet another prophetic message about picketing in a certain place in East Africa. The following are his words. There is a place, I called it a place in a previous message, where I say it, I see different types of people picketing. So I will still call it a place. So let us pray for the people in government uh, to be given wisdom by God in that place, not to trivialize those who may be agitating over certain things. So I don't want to, I believe God will give me wisdom to connect with the people concerned so that I relay the message properly. But uh, those who are intercessors, let us remember that place for two days, tomorrow and Tuesday. They've got many problems as it is. So the last that they would have is groups heading to each other to, to be picketing or to be doing a show of force. So let us pray for the powers that be in that place to sit down with the leaders of these people at this grand and find out how their grievances can be dealt with within the limitations that they are all facing. <laughs> Hallelujah. I will just call the place that place. Hallelujah. Yes, so we don't want the voice of discontent to rise. So I believe God will give me grace to relay the message more specifically because there are things in my prayer closet when I'm praying alone which I've been seeing about that place which 
are disturbing to me in the vision. So we must continue to pray for calm, peace and stability in that place. The worst that they would have is a discontent which is leaderless. It is what? Discontent which is leaderless. Because who do you negotiate with? When people are showing discontent in many directions, and there is people that don't have an obvious lead, you will be very serious, Trump. So, I, again, I believe God will give me grace. And then, also in that place, we must pray for the people who are in leadership not to threaten the people who have got discontent. They must not threaten them, they must not speak to them like they are speaking to small children. Because when you see Athens, um, who are quite smart, quite educated and dignified, doing things which they don't ordinarily do, it means there is something which is pushing them. Are we clear? So let us pray for wisdom and humility for those who have been given authority in that place, not to open their mouth and say things which are inflammatory, because it may worsen their situation in that place. Are we clear, my brothers and sisters? Are we clear? So why am I avoiding to mention the place? Because a message like this one, it can be viral, it can actually do exactly the opposite of what we are trying to do. So number one, that's why we are not mentioning the place. Do you realize? But intercessors who have the spirit of God, they are able to hear what the spirit is saying to the churches. What the spirit is saying to the churches. And we start this hour in Kenya, where the security forces have clashed with hundreds of protesters opposed to tax hikes put forward by the government. Riot police, some on horseback, have been deployed in the capital, Nairobi, and have fired tear gas in an effort to disperse the demonstrators. The parliament buildings have been cordoned off ahead of the vote by MPs on the controversial finance bill later today. Many fear the tax cuts will worsen a cost of living crisis. Protests are also taking place in the Indian Ocean port of Mombasa and other cities. More than 300 people were arrested earlier this week following similar demonstrations. A little earlier, I spoke to our senior Africa correspondent, Anne Soy. I'm just standing outside Parliament where that debate has been going on on this controversial finance bill. I can hear tear gas being lobbed in all directions. Uh, the young people have come out in large numbers. They have gone to different streets and the police are trying to, to keep them away from here. This is the ultimate goal. They want to come here and occupy Parliament, but they're not being allowed uh, to do that. You can see the cordon uh, here. And they're saying that they want the bill that is being debated in Parliament to be rejected in its entirety. They disagree with many of the clauses there. On Tuesday, the government announced uh, that it was um, it announced concessions on a number of uh, the controversial clauses, including 16% uh, value-added tax on bread, uh, motor vehicle uh, levies and uh, other taxes. But they say that is not enough. Um, and that's why that's the message that they're trying to, uh, to, 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 to pass here. Uh, they have been mobilizing and reaching out to them MPs uh, asking them to reject the finance bill. So that debate is going on here. They, they, they don't have a lot of time for that because they were hoping that they would pass this bill by next week uh, so that um, come July uh, they'll have a law in place to be able to spend, uh, to, to, to carry out government spending. The servant of God, Dr. Ian Lovell urges saints and intercessors to continue to pray for peace and calm in the nation of Kenya. Intercessors who are able to fast are encouraged to fast and pray for peace and calm in Kenya. May the almighty God bless you as you intercede. <laughs> 